So here at Samsung in 2022, we wanted to give gamers a quick and easier way to connect with all things gaming. Getting all the recent feedback that we've got, we actually wanted to combine our hardware and software technology and created a new platform called Samsung Gaming Hub. With Samsung Gaming Hub, of course, you can easily access all things gaming, whether it's your recently played games, whether it's your console applications or anything like that. But most importantly, as you can see here with our launch partners, for game streaming. Right now we have NVIDIA GeForce Now, Stadia, and Utomic, and many more to come in the future. This provides gamers a plentiful amount of games that they can have access to within the TV directory. Some additional features that we have within the Gaming Hub is an easier and quicker way for you to actually pair any supported controller directly to the TV itself. Once paired, you can go ahead and use the controller to navigate the Gaming Hub menu or even go over to the Media Hub. Under the Media Hub, of course, is where all of our content for video streaming, and music, and all of that. So it's everything all in one, easily accessible. Not only that, but within our Gaming Hub, some of the cool features that we have, so let's say if you wanted to check out some of the new popular games that are curated for you, or when you click on the game, we'll actually give you detailed information regarding that game, as well as providing you some more additional media such as videos or photos of the like related to the game itself, as well as giving you a recommendation based off that game genre. That is our Samsung Gaming Hub. Now, with that being said, this actually ties into the rest of this wall. If you guys want to follow me over here, we have additional information for you guys as well. Continuing over here, I want to show you how our latest Neo Quantum processor actually handles one of the biggest points when, when it comes to game streaming, and that's input lag. This year's processors can actually reduce input lag by more than 30%, giving you a much more smoother gameplay right there into the TV. But most importantly, with our AI upscaling technology, we also enhance your picture quality and your sound quality from, from the games that you play. So, let me show you. So this is picture enhancement off. You'll notice a lot of ragged lines that are not sharp and looks blurry. With our picture enhancements on, those lines become a lot sharper in whatever game you're playing. And then I want to take you guys right on over here to showcase some more stuff. Following on from there, I want to showcase you guys Game Bar 2.0. So we actually heard a lot of feedback from gamers all across the nation from Game Bar 1.0 and the biggest thing was, hey, we want to be able to adjust our picture and sound settings from the Game Bar itself and not through the TV settings. That's what we did. So this year's new Game Bar 2.0 will give you the ability to essentially change whatever picture settings that you wanted as well as sound settings. Of course, you can also navigate it with the controller once you connect it to the TV. From there, we still support the screen ratio 16 by 9, 21 by 9, or 32 by 9 for PC mode. Now, one of the biggest issues that we had, that gamers had, when viewing it in ultra wide mode was we can't see the mini map. Well, we got you covered now. With our new mini map zoom, we take care of that issue. So that way you can still game in your ultra wide mode, but still see all the content that you want to see. Of course, it is adjustable, so you don't have to focus it on the mini map if you don't choose to do so. 